Tippy time, my dammies. Today we're going to be testing out my new Peregrine Greaves build. We'll be doing this inside of the K1 Logistics Lost Sector. Bottom of everything, he's the most tip top. Top cat. We're going to be running the top tree arc titan. Pick up arc elemental wells is going to do increased melee damage that is going to pair with the Peregrine Greaves and make them significantly stronger. Focusing lens is going to make our arc abilities do more when affected by stasis we're going to pair this with the cryostasia to give us that bonus damage so shoot him then punch him so that's what the focusing lens is doing we can have scavengers just to give us some additional bonus heavy handed it's going to give us increased melee charge back upon the thing lock and load is going to give us sidearm reload abilities and dampness because we're going to be nice and close overload bow just to give them a little pause button elemental charge every time we get a well is going to double dip and going to give us two charges so we're always going to have that heavy handed up, up in there Clear this shit out of my way. Get in here. Get the surprise easier buff. So now I'll get a charge ready to go whenever I need it. Just want to clear out some of this rabble just to make it easier to get in there to kill that champion. See, so there's a couple of systems in place for this to, to work, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's quite easy. First of all, we want to get the bonus LN2 first ready for our sidearm. So let's get a, a sidearm kill with the Christ easier. Reload, you'll have that ready to go. After that, we want to be chucking our grenade onto a lower tier ad, in this case, a little fallen dude. And that is going to drop us a melee. Oh, sorry, an arc well. That arc well is going to in turn give us two charge of light through our elemental charge, but also it is going to give us a 10 second window that the well of iron is going to give us an increased melee damage. So, upon picking up that well, we want to shoot the champion with the cryostasia. You can either shoot him first or pick up the well first, it's got 10 seconds so I tend to pick up, up then shoot him at the same, or roughly the same time, run in the air, jump in the air, shoulder charge, boom, she's all dead. Upon doing so as well, you're also going to be getting half your melee energy back, maybe even more so due to the well of the striking mod and the heavy handed mod. Heavy hand is going to give us half our melee energy back. Every time we charge a light and we get a melee hit, so just perpetually feeding that. Once you've got that, it's going to be on a loop system. You're going to be getting a two charge of light, so every time you do it, so you'll always have one ready to go every time you pick up well. So once you've done well, one champion, just start the system over again. Chuck another grenade down, get another well. Get the charge of life, get the damage bonus, and get the same thing. Does it work well? Shoot the dude, run it, punch, punch. Well, in this case, just one punch because this just deletes everything anyway. So, um, you see here that we don't actually have any more little dudes, so just gonna stun him if he ever stops putting moving. Because we don't add the buff, it's not going to leave in one shot. You see there, that was without the uh, focusing lens and without the melee well maker mod. That was purely just peregrine level damage. So you can kind of get a, a sense of how much more damage it will be. On this boss here, I'll try and get it killed just with the melee well maker and not with the prestige buff. So we just pick up the Arc Bell mod. And 
plus the stun was good as well. Obviously the stunning doesn't really do any damage of course, but so see in this case he's he's finishable so that's that's very good. get my, my run up. And, uh, you, you need to be a little bit, well, I'm just shit, but um, yeah, that's really stacked my lunch here. Since I don't have any barrier animals to speak of, and I don't think he's going to let go of those little dudes, he might just need to um, do a bit of damage, get the shield up, and then luckily for us, um, this linear fusion rifle has more than enough damage just to delete them as is. We are running double hands on mods and since we are punching so we are most of them gonna have a super up. The super isn't that important, um, it's more just for lower tier ads and stuff like that. Pretty much you're gonna be running this build um alongside a Stasis Hunter and maybe a well um, for DPS. Um, your hunter is going to be on more crowd control with stasis, and you won't need the triest easier. In that case, when you're running with a fire team, your hunter can just suck stasis grenades and everything to do the um, focusing lens uh, debuff, and that makes it a lot easier. But then it's pretty much your job just to run around and shoulder charge uh, champion. So you just go around, drop our grenades on little dudes. Go shoulder charge for the champions. And well, we'll be in charge of um, just keeping you safe and Hunter just in charge of um, keeping everything at bay. Unless you run around like a madman, chucking knees in people's faces. Fairly bold playstyle, particularly in the GM and stuff like that. So if you're, if you're a player who's going to be sitting back and you know, just want to do chip damage sort of thing, maybe just go and roll up this with a fairly bold playstyle. But if you're um, safe enough, um, you can do some, some good damage really fast. And having a, a damage build like this um, allows you to run a different set of weapons that you know most GMs are going to force you to run this linear and this fusion rifle and this bow. So builds like this allow you to mix it up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Like, share, sub, all that shit. Peace and until next time.